everybody. I am in Amsterdam today. I am heading to the Micropia uh, Museum, which apparently not too many locals know about either. But I'm here and I found it and it's beautiful already. can smell when they're going bad, when they're going rotten. So all you have to do is push this button here. And then you can smell through the tubes the different smells of things going bad. That one's not so bad. That one's definitely moldy cheese. It's definitely. <laughs> not a fan of that one. my morning at Micropia. It was super fascinating. I love science museums because you're always finding out new information that you most likely didn't know before. Anyway, I got my stamps, but I missed one because I only have 29 and she said there's 30. So I have no idea which one I missed, but it made it a little bit more interactive and a little bit more fun to go and try to like get all of your stamps. But anyway, definitely check out Micropia if you are in Amsterdam. It's also right next to the zoo, so we're gonna go check out the zoo now. <laughs> hey, look who I found. It's our friends from Dubai. <laughs> I came across some pelicans, which we saw in Woi Woi in one of my other videos, but these ones are very pink and yellow in comparison to the ones that we saw before, which were black and white. <laughs> We're going into the... is in comparison to the North American zoos, there are no great big huge fences. The animals are just right on the other side. This thing has a big glass thing though, which is probably good because the lion is right there. These people behind me live right across from the zoo where the elephants are. They must feel like they're on a safari all the time. That would be awesome. But again, with the no fence thing, this is a prime example. This little fence right here. That's what's blocking between me and the elephants. If there's an elephant right there, I could touch it. So 
some more of our Australian friends. have a lot of favorite animals, the platypus, the white tiger, and the red panda. So that penguin was totally just trying to like eat my camera and my tripod. <laughs> the animals are just so close, you're like right up to them and there was this little kid like right by the fence and I was like his eye is gonna get poked out by this penguin's beak because it's right there. <laughs> smaller tanks with different types of fish in it instead of one big tank. There's an eel staring at me. It's really creepy. So they have some saltwater and some freshwater fish so I like that because I get to see different kinds of fish that I maybe normally wouldn't get to see. require different water temperatures, which is also why they are in different tanks. So this one specifically, fish that requires a four to 18 degree temperature, whereas some of the other ones I've been looking at are 20 to 28 degree temperature. I've just come out of the aquarium and there are some huge fish in there. Like, I don't even know how much they would weigh, but they're probably like a meter and a half. If I was swimming and I came across a fish that big, I think I would freak out. Like, I would get out of the water. Like, it's like a shark to me. <laughs> I am done at the zoo and at Micropia. I am actually going to head to the Van Gogh Museum because I still have a couple of hours. I am in an Uber off to the Van Gogh Museum as my last stop today. I can't take any pictures or videos inside the exhibition halls. Right now they have an exhibit about uh, Van Gogh and his Japanese style of painting, which I find really interesting and how it influenced all of his paintings and how he moved on from that. I have finished at the Van Gogh Museum. They had his utensils, his inspiration, his family. But it was really, really cool to see the museum itself and the exhibit that they have right now. of me seeing so much today. It has been the absolutely most perfect day. It's about 18 degrees today and there's hardly any wind. It's not raining, it's a little bit overcast, but the zoo is all outside, so I picked a really good day for that and I can do like museums on a day where it's not as nice outside. Thank you for checking out this video. Hit that subscribe button. Let me know in the comments below if you have been to Amsterdam. Hit that thumbs up so that I can keep making these awesome videos just in case you're going to Amsterdam this summer. Until next time, bye for now.